Okay, upgrading my version 2.5 up to the latest version 2.6 from Mac at Circuit Domain with his um, <coughs> Digimax, Digimax, sorry, version 2.6. So really, if you have um, a version 2.5 with hardware version 2.7 or greater, all you really have to do is just switch this uh, MCU update, plug and play, just straight in, and then in the next video we'll show you all the functions and the setting up and so forth. So simply just remove the old MCU carefully. Take that out. Replace with the updated version which now supports 5KC and simply plug and play. Uh, you will need to readjust um, your squelch adjustment. For this particular radio, I had it literally on 50% setting with um, the previous firmware. For this firmware, I found somewhere around 70% as I turned to the uh, right. At about 70% is where was the correct setting if it was at 50% with the previous MCU. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit of adjustment there. But other than that, that's the only hardware adjustment you need to make, and the rest is all we're just straightforward software changes. So once again, reminding that with the um, PLL adapter board that is that is situated underneath these ribbon cables, the only three wires that you need to attach are the three that are for squelch, PTT, and uh, 12 volt positive. Everything else, like ground, your encode lines, they all just Simply plugging through the ribbon cable straight to the IDC connector and everything else from this Digimax is then connected to the radio via the the, um, the headers straight from where the old PLL was situated. So only three wires that are required to hook up. Once again, just 12 volts, PTT and squelch. Alright, next video showing you the functionality, a bit of a quick demo and, uh, and the menu setup of the kit. Alright, catch you soon. Okay, here we got an update for um, the version 2.6 for Digimax Lite, um, which is this new 5KC option that we've been so excited about. As you can see, this little cool little dot right on the left-hand side, which will be depicting when it's on the zero frequencies. But anyway, it's paired up at the moment with a R824 to 106 PLL adapter board uh, and this AX144, which will work just the same with a RR. 719 to 106 uh, which is all those unit and grants 148s washingtons etc etc and also this kit will at the moment support also upd 858 um, and uh, soon to come it, your pl 2 as as well but not on this particular release but that will be coming soon alrighty so first up let's dig into it um, single button press will always be your home channel I think I've got it on triple five at the moment so that's where it goes. Um, to do your scanning is still double press. You probably can't see it, but right hand side there is a small dot that I can see when I look at an angle because this channel window is pretty small. The LED lights up. Anyway, double press. Off it goes and scans. Same as before. Anti-clockwise it'll scan down. Clockwise it'll scan up. To stop scanning, you either listen, you hit a station breaks through squelch or you uh, simply do a um, single button press of the, the um, rotor encoder. Um, three button press will be your split RXTX. So one, two, three. Uh, so you choose uh, how many channels do you want that TX to be separated from RX. In this case we've chosen, well, we had 12 in there set up beforehand, so we could choose, I don't know, nine. You could choose any 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 sort of arbitrary number. I don't know where the max maximum limit is, and it's not really that important. If you just want some separation, you know, you, you can choose up to whatever amount of channels you want. Um, but at the moment, let's just go for channel. I don't know, nine channels, just for the sake of the argument. You can choose the TX to be either above, uh, or you can choose the TX to be uh, nine channels below. Obviously, when you want to turn split function off, you just select off and hit enter there. So let's go below. There we go. Um, and so we're channel 55. If we go down by 9, what's that? 46. There you go. So when you choose 46, um, 
Likewise, if you want to choose nine channels above, you should go, what, 64? There you go. So it'll give you that option. To, to turn, turn it off, same three, button press. You always have to select how many channels you want to separate by, and then simply select off. When that's chosen, it will now be TXing on the same channel that you're receiving on. Uh, four button press is basically this whole 5KC, 10KC option. So one, two, three, four, I think it's gonna go back to 10KC now. So now it's in your normal just 10KC stepping, like any normal CB would be. Uh, one, two, three, four, to bring it back to 5KC, and then you've got that option of doing the 5KC stepping on your um, channel, channel encoder. Okay, then finally, setting up of the um, the kit itself. So I'll already make sure that squelch is definitely up because we need that for uh, auto detect for your lock detect and your channel range. So one, two, three, four, five. Select PLL. Obviously the 8719s, the PLL 02As, the UPD 858s. And then any radio that has my RR PLL adapter board, you always choose this. No matter what radio it is in, you always choose 106 because that's the MC145106 that I <coughs> I use. Encode in this particular radio is 91. Squelch is always high, active high in these radios. Home channel, last time I think I had triple five in there, so how about this time we choose, I don't know, 38. Sounds good. Lock detect, now obviously want to select on, so you just rotate between on and off, so on, and let it scroll away. So I think from memory I'm getting about, I don't know, 145 to 150 on the positive side. So 149 I think was the highest number I saw flash pass there. Negative 60, 65, somewhere around there. 200 channels, something like that. Okay, negative 75 I think I saw. So let's scan away to the band edge or the limits of the VCO that we were able to lock on. Yeah, so negative 75 and positive 149. Yep, that's pretty cool. And so next up, I'm just gonna show you the um, actual demo of the 5KC working. All right, here's that 5KC demo. Um, here we go, I'll hit TX. And we'll start from the very bottom and work our way all the way to the top and see what happens. Okay, so, just watching that frequency counter. Probably around channel minus 50. It'll start reading reasonable numbers. As you can see, it's quite dirty, the output down really low. Anyway, around about there, 52 starts Minus 52 starts kicking in, and you can see the 5 KC stepping, you know, 465, 470, 475, and on and on we go. So let's keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, watching all the different little uh, bits of information you can see. And you can see the dot when it's on zero, and the dot disappears when the when it's on the fives on the end. So we'll just show that again on one of the comfortable CB channels. Now in the normal 40 channel range, and I'll soon flick that SDR receiver onto the next megahertz. So will it reach up to channel 35 or not? Yes, it will. Okay, so there's 27350 with the dot, and then 27355 when the dot is gone. Okay, I'm just going to scroll this megahertz window further up so we can keep scrolling. Yeah, 360, 365, 370, 375, on and on. Cool leads. Keep rolling. Triple nickel. Yep. There we go. So someone says to you, let's QSY to 27670. So here we go. We would go like that to channel 67 with the dot. Or if you want 675, then without the dot. On and on we go, on and on, on and on. Beautiful. So then we hit the, just in the 10 meter band. 
for the amateur 10 meter band so you can now listen in on generally most conversations that should occur because you can now do that 5kc so you can dial in and have a listen beautiful we're spot on frequency too everything there is just rolling along nicely just because we can adjust that 10.24 megahertz crystal now the frequency is starting to jitter a little bit so we're starting to hit that sort of upper limit and obviously now it sort of goes all to pack as we end up there and just give it a scroll back there so you can just see it dies off yeah around about channel 134 is about the max then 35 then it starts jittering anyway so you can just see that it's does truly work all the way across, well pretty much across most of the channels so that's really good reach when you're talking about just a little AX144 Okay, here's just a 5kc demo uh, for this Digimax light kit as well. So, starting on channel 32, 27325 megahertz, and so to enable 5kc, once again, we just do the four button press, so one, two, three, four. And as I rotate this uh, channel encoder one step to the left, we'll get a dot on that side, which means I'll also adjust the frequency on the um, SDR receiver to 27.320, so here we go. Yep, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Uh, version 2.6, supporting 5KC, finally officially launched. Thanks for watching.